Hi, my name is Robert. This video is designed to give you step-by-step -step detailed instructions on completing the task at hand. Please read the comments in the About section of this video. It has valuable information and updates. My YouTube channel has a disclaimer video that I encourage you to watch. And please, like, share, and subscribe. I hope you find what you're looking for. Thank you very much for watching. I'm going to be looking at this 2003 XJ8. It has a problem with a check engine light P11 one and P1122. I believe it has something to do with the throttle pedal position sensor. So I use my scanner. It has two codes. One code is 1121. The next code is 1122. I posted on the Jaguar form and read a couple other posts and they said sometimes the connector just gets dirty so I'm gonna look for the connector and see if I could clean it and reconnect it and see if that cures the problem when I come out to the vehicle I see the throttle body there with the throttle body there I see an electrical connector there and then I see another electrical connector on the back side of it this cover is limiting the access to it so the first thing I'm gonna do is twist this plug with we'll this get this plug out of the way and get this cover out of the way so I can have better access to it. The cover over the throttle kind of tucks under this cover so uh, you can bow it to lift it out of the way or you can remove one of these side panels and lift it out of the way that way. Looking at this throttle body from the driver's side it looks to me like this adapt, uh, plug here is the throttle position sensor. So I'm gonna unplug it, clean it up, plug it back in. I'm probably gonna do the same for this gray plug there. And if I could reach that one down there, I may do that one as well. Unplug them, spray some electrical cleaner in there and plug them back up. And then I'm gonna do a what I thought was a calibration test that I was sent through a document. When you're reaching around in here to your throttle body cable and stuff, be extra careful. Uh, these coolant tubes are very fragile. You don't want to break them. Be real careful with your plastic tubes. I believe this little bracket should probably be clipped here somehow, holding that tube in place, but like I said, be careful, don't break anything you're gonna to need to replace. You almost have to unplug this gray one to get at that one, so I push the wire harness down, I push in this tab to unplug this one, squeeze it, don't bust anything, then I'm gonna reach down and unplug the other one. I got it unplugged, but it was a little difficult. I had to uh, push on the tab with one screwdriver and work it off with another one bumping it gently because I didn't want to break anything but that's the connector there so I'm going to spray some electrical contact cleaner on that I'm going to put the tube on it turn it around spray some in that and I'm going to do the same with this other uh, valve whatever that is there I'm not going to mess with this one under there just yet I'm going to see what the first two do see if that helps me out but I'm pretty sure this is the throttle position sensor here is definitely part of the throttle body it's got security torque screws in it so let's see what happens here this is the spray that I'm going to use they call it electronic cleaner I use it for cleaning electric uh, plugs wire harness plugs I'm going to spray some on that then I'm going to use the little red uh, tube that comes with it to make it curve in and get the other part of it. If you can't find a red tube, you can use some vacuum tube and spray through it to get it to squirt around on where you need it to be. After you spray them and they're dried out enough, you plug them back in. When you plug them in, you want to make sure you hear a click. Now, some people like to use dielectric grease, which is good. 
these things have a seal built into the plug so they shouldn't get moisture in them anyway but seals get old and moisture gets in so once it's dry plug it in and listen for the click when you plug it back in all right let me try to plug this in now that the plug is dry so you can see it get plugged in and hear it click possibly some air conditioning units out here so I got the plug lined up I want to slide it in till I hear it click I heard a little click I don't know if you did anyway the two plugs are now plugged in after that's done you can cover it back up or leave the cover off whichever you prefer I'm going to go ahead and cover it back up and uh, it's got the place where the clip goes in so tuck your cover back under the corner panels and put your gaskets back in place now that the covers in place I'm going to attempt to recalibrate it according to the information I believe I read online okay I'm gonna turn the car on run but I'm not gonna start I'm gonna scan my system and clear the codes it says codes cleared stick the key in the ignition turn the car on do not start it you may be able to watch this on live data if you can I'm going to switch this to see my throttle position all right it says six percent now I'm going to slowly press the accelerator all the way down and let it come all the way back up nice and slow so here it goes I got my foot on the gas pedal and I'm pushing it down nice and slow it's not giving me a reading on that but it's all the way down this is supposed to take maybe a minute or something like that and I'm letting it back up nice and slow so I'm gonna go ahead and start the car take it for a test drive and see what happens with the vehicle running it is given different throttle position readings as you can see there it's five now when I accelerate it's going up 14 18 24 so I am getting various readings maybe that was it I'm gonna drive about 20 miles and see if everything stays clear right now I'm at 124 245 and we'll see where I'm at when I get back in park put about 12 miles on it no check engine light so we'll see how that pans out over the next uh, couple hundred miles if you feel that this information was useful, please like it and share it with your social media friends. You can subscribe to my channel so that you will get notifications of future videos that I post. You can follow me on Twitter, and if you need to contact me directly, please visit my website. And if you have any questions, leave them below, and someone or myself will reply to them. Again, thank you very much for watching.